In our Spotlight on Business report tonight, big changes could be coming to the gaming industry. A package of bills recently proposed would tweak the state's booming online gaming market by putting in more safeguards for kids and chronic gamblers and also raising tax rates, in some cases doubling them for online wagering. Senior correspondent Joanna Gagas has the details. What they do now is that they have, you know, online gaming, but just for points. And what that does, it conditions the brains of the children to get ready to, to gamble. And to me, that's irresponsible. That's one of the changes casinos would have to make under a package of bills introduced by Senator John McKeon to address some of the gambling concerns that have arisen, especially since the legalization of online sports betting in 2018, like spikes in gambling addiction. Since the onset of sportsbook, uh, in 2018, our helpline calls have increased by 277%, with the largest percentage of helpline calls coming from uh, those between the ages of 25 to 34. But even more concerning than that is the amount of young people, those between the ages of 18 to 24, the number of calls doubled to our helpline between 2018 and 2023. With so many in crisis because of gambling addiction, some are putting themselves on the New Jersey Casino Self-Exclusion Program, which means casinos can't let them play even when they come in. McKeon's second bill would allow individuals to sue casinos who let them play even when they're on that list. Right now, casinos have immunity. If you're a compulsive gambler and you put yourself on the do not fly list, basically, uh, if a casino still allows you to gamble, then they could be held civilly accountable. There isn't an industry in this country, including even the gun industry, that's immune from any kind of civil liability. Stockton University's Jane Bukinevich says these cases could be hard to prove and could tie up casinos in litigation. People can gamble anonymously in the casinos in person using cash and without playing with a player's card. So it can be hard for operators to identify them. It would be hard to determine was it intentional or was it just unintentional simply because of the difficulty in implementing that. But the Council on Compulsive Gambling of New Jersey fully supports that bill. We have some of our helpline representatives that uh, are on self-exclusion continually receive marketing materials from casino operators. Uh, and there should be absolutely be, be a restriction for those that are on a self-exclusion list to be receiving marketing materials from a gambling uh, company. There's no room for that. What there is room for, according to McKeon, is New Jersey to increase its tax rate on casinos from around 14% to 30%. Compared to Pennsylvania, which is 35%, New York, which is 49%, uh, that's nowhere close. So they need to pay their fair share. Uh, I propose going to 30%, so still far under the neighboring states, but that would produce about $150 million. It would be nice to see that money go to New Jersey Transit. In a statement, the Casino Association of New Jersey says it strongly opposes any proposed tax increase for online gaming, and Senator Vince Palestina says trying to balance NJ Transit's budget on the back of an already struggling city is a massive mistake. Mistake. We still have issues here with homelessness, mental health, addiction. You know, we still need to redevelop, reinvest in the city. And so now is absolutely not the time to be increasing taxes on these types of things. Would you be in support of some of that money being uh, allocated earmarked for investment into Atlantic City? Yes, if the money is going to be dedicated back to the city, whether it's through, you know, the Economic Development Authority or CRDA or some other mechanism where we actually see the investment being done in the city, different conversation. But to just increase taxes and have that money go to Trenton isn't going to make any sense. The bills are still in draft form. One thing all involved agree on, a public awareness campaign about the risks of gambling addiction. I'm Joanna Gagas, NJ Spotlight News. Thank you.